What's going on, my friends? How are you? What's good? Today we are back. We are watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is the newer one because I did see the original, of course, but this is the one with uh, what is his name? Uh, Johnny Depp, I think. I don't know. I don't know who's on the front of this one, but y'all know because y'all seen this one. I'm assuming at least. But this is my first time. Shout out to everybody that's currently watching the premiere. How you doing? How you looking? How you smell? I hope you're doing, looking, and smelling amazing. Your boy is doing and looking pretty good. I ain't gonna hold you. And we are currently smelling like Jean Paul Gaultier. I forgot. It's like Ultraman or something like that. Either way, look at the bottle. You see the bottle? It's pretty dope. It's, it's pretty dope. It smells super good. Like, honestly, it's probably like top five favorite, favorite fragrances that I have. I get a lot of compliments on this one. Like, this one, like, if you're gonna cop it, cop it. It's worth it for sure. It's not sponsored, by the way, but just thought I would let y'all know how your boy is currently smelling like. But, anyways, if you haven't been told this, you matter and I love you. I really do. Thank you for me here. And make sure that you guys are drinking water and staying hydrated. We're not gonna do too much talking for this intro. We're gonna do plenty of talking for this video. If that's not your thing, now's your time to get up out of here because you will see more of me than you will the movie. All right? All right. Now that we got that cleared up, let's get straight into Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I ain't gonna hold you. This is kind of starting off like Harry Potter. Wait, was Tim Burton the one that originally made Charlie in a Chocolate Factory? Did I not know this? I don't know. You know what's crazy though is that I was never a big like chocolate eater like that. I was always big on like gummy candies and sour candy and stuff. Did y'all like chocolate growing up? Let me know. Okay, now I'm starting to see why this movie is close to two hours long because the intro credit is so very long. I mean, this is pretty cool, but it ain't that cool. All right, there we go. We're getting into the golden ticket part. I guess I never realized that the kids came from all around the world because I didn't know, now that I think about it, one of the little girls did come from London, right? Or was, maybe that was a little boy, I don't know. I never really liked Charlie and the Chocolate Factory growing up, so I should probably preface it with that. Like, I was never the biggest, like, I was like, oh, I love this movie. I seen it like one time and then I was like, all right, and I was good after that. This is a story of an ordinary little boy. Wait a minute, is that uh, Mufasa doing a voiceover? No way. Longer or more clever than other children. I don't know why, but he looks way younger than the original Charlie. Like, Charlie at least looked like 13. He looks eight. The luckiest boy in the entire world. Bro, how do you build a house that's sitting sideways? Like, is it that old to where the foundation isn't even strong? Like, maybe it's symbolism for how broken and poor the family is. I don't, like, how do you live in a house that's leaning? Evening, Buckets. Evening. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I want to know, how do they sleep comfortably in that bed with four people in there? Like, I I couldn't do it. I'd rather be on the floor. Uh, oh, well, nothing goes better with cabbage than cabbage. I bet you that house already smelled like old cabbage with them old people in that bed together. You know how poor you got to be for toothpaste caps to be a gift? Woo! What is it, Charlie? Yo, Charlie is innovative, my boy. Okay. I used to work for him, you know. You did. Is that how you end up living in a bed with three other people? Yeah. I love grapes. Ooh, Grandma is gone. She is not with us. Single store on Cherry Street. Hold on, that was 20 years ago? That looked like it was two days ago. Grandpa looked the same age here. That was 20 years ago? Here. No way I would let another grown man put candy in my mouth. We gonna have to box in chocolate ice cream so that it stays cold for hours. Maybe they lost their feetsies because they was eating too much chocolate. Maybe that's why they're bound to the bed. Maybe they lost it to like diabetes or something. They're like type two. I, I'm just trying to figure out how this can make sense. The largest chocolate factory in history. Honestly, this is how I imagine um, Walt Disney, <laughs> like he walked into work when he was alive, stepping on ground of Disney World or whatever. I ain't gonna hold you. They look like two old feet kissing. And everything will be made of either dark or light chocolate. I wanna know how is that sustainable? To build something out of chocolate? That just seemed gross. All the walls and ceilings are made of chocolate. Doesn't it get like really hot in India? Like there's no way that the chocolate is gonna make it past the heat. I intend to live in it. Ew, yeah, that's gross. No way. But Mr. Wonka was right, of course. Oh, wait a minute. Is that his shorty? Oh, man. Hey, baby, I got some chocolate. <laughs> you also, you like chocolate? <laughs> I got some for you. Come on, man. You had to have seen that coming. There's no way you didn't. 
Wait, and why is there was only y'all two in there the whole time? They doing drug deals right outside the chocolate factory for real? You couldn't even at least do it down the street to be conspicuous? Prognose came out with a chewing gum that never lost its flavor. <laughs> Yo, a chewing gum that never loses flavor? You know your jaw hurts after chewing, chewing that all day. I'm closing my chocolate factory forever. I'm not gonna lie, he kind of talked like Michael Jackson a little bit. I don't know why his chocolate factory ain't got no color. Like, it looks like jail. It don't look like a fun place. Sometimes when growing up say forever, they mean a very long time. Like it's been a very long time since you've seen a dentist. Your teeth are great. I ain't never seen that before. I mean, probably as soon as she put a toothbrush to her mouth, the toothbrush gonna cry. I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> Business. Did you get your job back? No. That's why he in bed with your, your grandmama and her cousins. I don't like, who are these, who are the people? They never explained them. It's become of that amazing factory. One thing I do remember is people getting on the grandpa because he never got out of that bed until Charlie got the golden ticket, <laughs> which I think is hilarious because he didn't hug his grandson or nothing. He can't get out of bed to dab him up or nothing. He's sitting in bed eating soup and crackers. What other Good night, Georgina. Nothing is impossible, Jack. Wait, are, so wait, so is, is that both his grandparents on his mom and dad's side? They just decided to sleep in the middle of the living room. And if they never get out of the bed, how did they get changed? Like, that's what I want to know. I don't get this anymore. And where does his parents sleep at? The couch? My boy Charlie sleep on the roof. Yeah, see, Wonka makes his moves at night like a bat. He liked to be low key. People of the world, I, Willy Wonka, have- You know what's funny though? Is his voice does sound like the original uh, Willy Wonka, which I think, was his name Billy Gray? Billy Graham? Uh, uh, Billy Wilder? Am I close? Y'all tell me in the comment section. Also, make sure y'all drink y'all water, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment for the algorithm because I do need all of the help. Become a Bench Squad member if you'd like to get the videos early. Special emotes in the chat. Thank you. Honestly, that is a good market employee to get people to buy more chocolate is to, you know, hit them with the idea of getting a golden ticket. Dude, this house looks so it's like one little huff or puff that house is going down i wonder what your home insurance is like y'all gotta be paying a lot kid who finds the first ticket will be fat 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 <laughs> he emphasized the heck out of that <laughs> he should have just said he'll be spoiled 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 because that's what he is walnut or peanut butter or no that kid doesn't even look real he looks like like he's ai or something him and his mama I eat more candy. Yeah, Augustus, you might need to chill, man. Yo, yo, sugar probably way too high. Last a day that it was not possible for him not to fight. Hell, he's making my stomach hurt. I'm not gonna hold you. Okay, Augustus, please don't stuff no more chocolate in your mouth. Things will really get crazy. Like your dry lips. Yeah, because that's pretty crazy to me. I'm not gonna hold you. Come on, Grandpa. I know you ain't left the bed, but you can at least ask for water. They delivering soap to you. I started buying up all the Wonka bars I could lay my hands on. Yo, you see how the wife is trying to flex that ring, though? <laughs> yeah, people with money, boy. Love to show off. That's why y'all never see me. I don't show off, because I ain't got no money. I'm not poor like Charlie. Yeah, you ain't gonna see me trying to, trying to flash the ring. Dude, all of those workers look completely miserable. Three days went by and we had no luck. It was terrible. My little Veruca got- And y'all wasted so much freaking chocolate. I hope y'all gave it away to somebody. I vowed I would keep up the search until I could give her what she wanted. Wait, did y'all- Y'all ended up paying somebody to get the golden ticket. Oh, she tried to be slick and take it for herself. <laughs> they got you on camera, I'm sure. Dang, she walked up looking like Lindsay Lohan on Parent Trap. <laughs> like, father? Daddy? I want another pony. Another pony? What, little girl? You better go get a job. And no good ever comes from spoiling a child like that. That is so true. Nothing good comes. I mean, and that goes for anybody. Spoiling anyone is not a good thing. Maybe you want to open your birthday present tonight. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing but sitting in the middle of his grandparents watching the few channels that y'all got on TV. 
Altogether, we're 381 years old. We don't I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all are hella old. <laughs> Dang. Together. Whatever happens, you'll still have the candy. Even though y'all all sitting around like this is a seance, you in a praying position like, please let this be the golden ticket. Please help us move out the hood. Oh, I thought he got it on this one. So did he buy another one? How did he come up on the golden ticket? I, I haven't seen Charlie and Soccer Factory in a very long time, so I forgot. Not your birthday present. It's my candy bar. He said, I do what I want to. Exactly. Yeah, he said, I'm going to break it off to all my homeless grandparents. You get some, you get some, and you get some. I wouldn't give it to that hating grandpa, though. He was trying to count you out. Look how the mom is eating it. Whoa, mama, why did you go at the chocolate like that? We can talk later. I think it was found by Miss Violet Beauregard. <laughs> oh, she is raw with it. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's legit. Oh, dang. All right. Scarlet Webb or what? Scarlet Webb. What's that, what that girl from Avengers? Scarlet. Not Scarlet Witch. No. Who's Black Black Widow? Black Widow. Switch to candy bars. She's just a driven young woman. Yo, I see her in so many movies. I wish I knew what her name was. This piece of gum I'm chewing right at this moment. I've been working on for three months. So You've been chewing gum for three months? It has no flavor whatsoever. Ugh. This special prize. Better than all the rest? I don't care who. <laughs> Why is she making that face? <laughs> That face is hilarious. You don't know what we're talking about. Dragonflies. What is going on here? All right. Whoa, hold on. Oh, I thought somebody was getting shot in the house. Manufacturing dates offset by weather and the derivative of the knee. The derivative? A retard figure. No way he said that. Uh-uh. What with all the technology? Die, die, die! Yeah, your son is demon spawn for real. Uh-uh. He played too much. What, he been playing Grand Theft Auto since he was out the womb? It's about one candy bar. And how did it taste? I don't know. He didn't eat it. I know he didn't eat it. <laughs> yup. Oh, boy. Chocolate factory, you ungrateful little butt. Grandpa really cussing up a storm for real? Oh, I heard him say that. He said, this is some bullsh**. I definitely heard that one. Dad. Yes, Charlie. Why aren't you at work? Yeah, why aren't you at work? You see the damn house sitting sideways. We obviously need to make more money. I thought they'd give me a bit of time off. Like summer vacation. You need time off? Uh, there shouldn't be a time that you're off the way that we live in. What you talking about? And honestly, we need to get the other two men in the house. They need to go outside too. I don't care if they lost their feetsies. Get your ass up and let's work. Y'all want to sit in bed all day. Modernize. Eliminating Mr. Bucket's job. Oh, he really got let go. He can't tell his family. Okay, maybe I was a little too harsh on him, but he shouldn't just be sitting there, though. My luck will change. I know it. I ain't gonna hold you. He better go out there and sell some dick. Because <gasps> uh, Bill's got to get paid. Now we'll open it together. It's amazing how he does sound like he's dying right here. But as soon as he get this chocolate bar and hit that golden ticket, he gonna come to life. Which end should we open first? Just do it quick, like a bandage. Yeah, like it matters what end you open first. Y'all done lost again? That was all Grandpa had. That was literally his life savings. That boy just found money on the ground? Yeah, you need to go buy you a lottery ticket. It's your lucky day. That's probably more money than your daddy made the whole year. Yo, Charlie said I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to go home. Boy, you better run, because they're about to try to rob you. And a new bicycle. Are you crazy? I'd give him $500 for that ticket. 500? I'd be in there going, can I get 1,000? Who got 2,000? 5,000? Can I get the house payment? Can I get the house? <laughs> like, I would be in there, deal or no deal, for sure. <laughs> well, first of all, what happened to the rest of that $10 that you had? Because the, the, the chocolate should only cost like 25, right? So you should have some change. Did I miss that part? I might have missed it. Yippee! Look at this Joker. Look at this Joker. He ain't never got up to hug Charlie not one time. 
Here he go, diddy bopping. He see walking. First of February. That's tomorrow. Damn, that's not a Dang, Charlie won the ticket just in time. Who is going with Charlie to the factory? I will. <laughs> Grandpa said, ain't none of y'all going. Not over my dead body. He said, y'all see me? I stepped out of the bed for this. It's serious. Know more about it than we do. Provided, of course, he will. So you mean to tell me he couldn't get his behind up to get a job, but he can get up to date? Look at him dancing right now. We're not going. Wait, Charlie making executive decisions like that? I bet someone else would pay more. We need the money more than we need the chocolate. Look at that, Charlie the only responsible one. Everybody else unemployed right now in that house. And he the only one worried about the bills. Y'all need to get your priorities together. Young man, come here. Oh, now it's young man, come here. Didn't you tell me that the odds of me winning this ticket is impossible? Money out there. They print more every day. Ooh, I mean, they do print money every day, but y'all don't got none. That don't got nothing to do with you for something as common as money are you a dummy no but you are jobless i am tired of eating the same rice and beans did you see how excited they was to eat the little couple pieces of chocolate and you telling him he a dummy for wanting to get the money i'm tired of living like this once we come back from the chocolate factory i'm still poor he couldn't talk to me like that because i'd be like look at reality you could stay here living in the bed with your siblings i don't really know who they are to you but i don't want to do that That boy said, I need a chocolate bar before I go inside. <laughs> it's it's real. I hope she still ain't chewing on that same piece of gum from three months ago. I really hope it's a new piece. Okay, that dude on the end with the glasses, he looks like a serial killer. Is that Jeffrey Dahmer? They went running like he gonna close the gate real fast. Like, <laughs> y'all got y'all ticket, you good. You don't gotta run in there. Hey. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, we're glad that you are here. So much I'm not gonna lie, them things look creepy as heck. <laughs> See, I would take that as a final destination sign and I would not go into his factory. I would be like, no. This pretty much tells me how the rest of this time is gonna go. If your intro was malfunctioning, I know on the inside something else is malfunctioning. Forget that. Wait, were they made out of chocolate too? <laughs> Wasn't that just magnificent? Oh yeah, he tweaking. Ain't no way. In that finale. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and y'all didn't even see that man pop up. I would be creeped out. Like, when did you get here? Sunglasses is crazy. Ain't no sun out there. Those ain't sunglasses. Good morning, starshine. The earth says hello. <laughs> He said that. I've heard people use that as a meme before. I never knew where it came from. That's so freaking hilarious. Well, I couldn't very well watch the show from up there now, could I, little girl? I love the sass that he's giving her. <laughs> like, don't ask me no dumb questions. Every day tried to steal my life's work and sell it to those parasitic copycat candy-making cabs. Oh, he's still upset about that. You could tell he is pissed. He don't remember nobody that worked for him, though. He was not that close. I'm Tyler Beauregard. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares, especially when you're chewing your gum like that. I always thought a Veruca was a type of wart you got on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> oh, that was disrespectful. And then he gave her the laugh and everything. And the rest of you must be there. He doesn't like saying the word parents or guardians. What if Charlie in the chocolate factory, like what if Willy Wonka, I mean, what if he's like really a edophile? And that's the reason why he doesn't like parents. Papa. Or maybe his daddy did something to him as a little children. I don't know. That face he okay, made was. Okay, then let's move along. He got some issues. Yeah. See, it, I don't. I don't know. I, he might actually been a. You know. Would you like some chocolate? Sure. Then you should just bought some. Mm. I want to smack that damn chocolate out of his hand. Talk to me like that. Let's be friends. Best friends. Oh, girls are so fake. Uh. Come on. The cattiness, unnecessary. Chocolatey flavor inside. <laughs> Wait, what? That joker is hecka small. <laughs> See, this right here reminds me of Out of the Box. You remember like before they went into the little tube and then it opened up to a big tree house or whatever? Like, that's what it looked like. <laughs> this chocolate factory looks like an Easter basket on steroids. No other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall. Well, that's an interesting little fact. How do you keep your stuff fresh when it's out and open like that? That would have been my question. Like, 
Is this whole place refrigerated or something? Would you like my meadow? Try some of my grass. Please have a plate. The same grass that we're stepping on? I don't want to try, because you've been walking around here, your worker's been walking around on here. Uh-uh. It's eatable, even I'm eatable. Oh, he's wild for saying that. And is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Okay. As long as he don't start talking about the mamas being eatable, we good. <laughs> Yo, this kid is bad, bro. Dad, he said enjoy. Yeah, but he didn't say destroy. Freaking evil Knievel? This boy is bad. Oh no, this, no she did not put that piece of gum behind her ear. We know she don't clean her ears. When was the last time you cleaned your ears? Now that we on the subject, you probably ain't never. Oh, nasty ear. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Hey, can you calm down? Like, y'all are gross. Ugh. All right, girl. Mm -hmm. She was smiling at that money. That's what she was smiling at. Orange swagglers and snoz wangers. I didn't even know that, that was Willy Wonka. That don't even look like him. He looked like a white woman named Sarah Lesnar. I don't, I just came up with a name. I don't know. I went to Loompa Land looking for exotic new flavor. Don't you lick it. Oh, he did it. I was hoping he wasn't going to. Ugh. Yoompa Loompas ate nothing but green caterpillars. Wait, was this part of the original? Like, I don't remember the first one enough. So I can't tell if this was a part of it or they just added this for this movie. Mm. I'd be like, that's crazy. You know, I ate before I came here. So I'm not even hungry like that. I can't. I throw up. Oh, oh, the texture of it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. He's like a dog eating peanut butter. The beans. <laughs> they got that man doing a water dance for some cocoa bean. He talking about, make me sweat, make me water. That's me when I'm trying to be like incognito about, you know, what I want to do with you. Ooh, waka, waka, waka. It must be untouched by human hands. There it go. Well, he's out of there. I love how the mom is not moving at all. So everybody's just going to watch this kid drown in chocolate right now. The mom is not moving. The, the people that's there with them, they're not moving. They're just like, F this kid, huh? Yeah, once he gets caught in that current, it's over with. His best bet is try to swim with it or against it, something like that. There he goes. Man, I would hate to be stuck in a tube like that. Like, I I can't do it. What are they doing? It looked like they jamming. That's what it looked like. <laughs> they don't take this serious at all. <laughs> do you know how mad I would be if I was stuck in this tube and these fools are filming a music video in the midst of me being stuck? <laughs> Uh, uh. They called that man a nincompoop. These fools are really dancing right now. <laughs> Ain't no way. I'm telling you, I would be so mad. <laughs> I would be so fed up, man. <laughs> oh, you better wind it. Hold on. Wait a minute. I do that same dance getting out the sh You heard me? Be terrible. Can you imagine Augustus flavored chocolate coated gloop? Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I miss that. Oh, no one would buy it. What the? F what was that? Chocolate mixing barrel. Okay. What? Wakanda? What the heck? After I see one kid go like that, I'm grabbing my kid and we're leaving. There's no way in hell that we're staying here. Like this is, I don't even know, like this is some tormented house of terror. No way I'm staying. Chewing gum is really gross. Chewing gum I hate the most. See, exactly. Oh, this man got bars. He, he really be spitting. Of course. Ooh, Charlie, your sweater is miniature. Where did you buy that at? He got that off of Stuart Little? <laughs> what the heck? I didn't know my boy was wearing a sweater that small. I would definitely think that he ran his Oompa Loompas through a copy and paste center or something because it's literally the same face. It triggers the release of endorphins. Gives one the feeling of being in love. Wait, what? Is that a fact? Hmm. Interesting. Anybody trying to feel in love? Huh? <laughs> trying to get some chocolate? I can fix that. 
will do you good. You look starved to death. He looks starved, so you're gonna give him chocolate? That don't even make sense. That's just gonna make him more hungry. Being a kid. Oh boy, do I. Oh, no, nope, that's not a good memory either. This dude has been bullied, harassed his whole life. See, this is why they say your bullies today become your uh, bosses tomorrow, or the kid you bully today is your boss tomorrow, something like that. Little Willy Wonka. Okay, why does he have to have that whole thing? What's the purpose of that? Dentist, Wilbur Wonka. Oh, his daddy is a dental practitioner. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So did his daddy die? Let's see what the damage is this year, shall we? Oh, his daddy never let him have candy. Is that why he's big on candy and chocolate and stuff now? They'd get stuck in your braces, wouldn't they? Don't tell me he's gonna eat it in front of him or he's gonna throw it all away. Stick. And then we have all this. Did you really have your son go out and trick or treat just so you could tell him he can't have the candy? Is that what you did? In a very important medical journal that some children are allergic. And why does your son look like he's held hostage right now? He got on the same freaking face mask thing as Hannibal Lecter. But do I take a chance? Ooh, your daddy is ugly, boy. Oh, he threw it in the fire. That's gangster. That is gangster. Look at the face that his kid is making. <laughs> he knew that day he was gonna kill his daddy. He knew. Switch on the lights. Oh no. Mm -mm. See, I don't like rides where you do this and then poof. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Hair cream? Why the heck do you have hair cream? I walk in moisture. <laughs> He's like, I can give you some tips, girl. You looking for something? Whipped cream. Hilarious. Wow. Whipped cream isn't whipped cream at all unless it's been whipped with whips. Every. I would hate to see how y'all made sour cream. <sighs> Don't want to know. Oh, he's taking him into the room where he come up with all his candy. They're for children who are given very little allowance money. You can suck on it all year. Oh, that's funny. Okay, that's the whole point of Gobstoppers. Gum is for chewing. And if you try chewing one of these Gobstoppers... You break your break teeth, for sure. Be uh -huh. sure you taste the ring. That's why Willy Wonka has great teeth, because his daddy was a dental practitioner. Hair toffee. You suck down one of these little boogers. Does anybody like toffee candy? I don't think I really had it like that. I think I had it like maybe once, but I, I couldn't have been a fan of it. When I'm laying down, I knew that you could slide me some skin. So, brother? <laughs> what? So, brother? Olympa tried some yesterday. Well, what the heck? That he looks like um the thing from Adam's family. Is it it? Cousin it? You mean that's it? I don't know why. I thought that was like a little piece of toilet paper. I I don't know why I thought that, but it looked like it for a second. This piece of gum happens to be tomato soup, roast beef, and blueberry pie. Oh, that was a terrible combination. No way. I wouldn't want to eat that all at once. Sounds like my kind of gum. You better not stick it behind your ear. Oh, you nasty, nasty little girl. Oh. Tomato soup. I can feel it running down my throat. Yeah, spit it out. You can feel it running down your throat. Oh. Roast beef with baked potato. Crispy skin and butter. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Oh, shoot. Hard. What's happening to her nose? Look, the mom wasn't even paying attention. She like, nah, but let her chew. Violet, you're turning violet. And she gonna still keep chewing the gum. Why you ain't tell her to spit it out yet, mom? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Yo, this man ducked. Is she about to explode? Like a gusher? I love how the mom, the mom's, they haven't done anything to prevent their kids from stopping nothing. She's literally gonna turn into a blueberry? Is that, is that what's gonna happen? Like a blueberry. That man said like a blueberry. I don't know what a blueberry is. I love how they're just sitting there watching her blow up like a beach ball. No big deal. Nobody's screaming, a mom ain't hollering or nothing. I would have been choking Willy Wonka. How was she supposed to compete? You could put her in a county fair. Huh? Oh, she got jokes. <laughs> she got jokes. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Dun, dun, dun. Look at my boys coming out looking like they about to bake with a potato or something. Listen close, listen hard. Wait, why is this a, 
Oh, Bob. Chewing, 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 chewing. Chewing, chewing, all day long. Chewing. Somebody was playing. Hold, hold on. Wait. Down, 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 down. down. They gave us a little disco 80s feel or 70s feel. Yo, they went stupid in the studio with the Oompa Loompas. Oh, hold on. Hey. I don't remember the, the Willy Wonka soundtrack slapping like this. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't want y'all to still keep singing. <laughs> when my kid needs your help. And they acting like it's nothing. I, that would real life piss me off. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh man, he's a fool. Best kind of prize is a surprise. <laughs> well, <Violet. laughs> his laugh is killing me, yo. <laughs> <laughs> So we just gonna keep flashing back to his tra traumatic childhood, I guess. Oh yeah, see that piece of candy changed his life. That sugar will do it to you, boy. It sure will. You see what happened to Winnie the Pooh? He got a taste of that honey and he ain't never went back. Every time I see Winnie the Pooh, he, oh, I tell you. Wait, or was that Tigger? Did Tigger laugh like that or was that Winnie? Somebody laughed like that, but I'm pretty sure it was Winnie. I think that one's got a bad nut. Yeah, we can't stand a bad nut. <laughs> it's the worst. All I've got at home is one pony and two dogs and four cats and six bunny rabbits and two parrots. Dang, girl, you literally have a whole zoo. Talking about all I got. If you won't get me a squirrel, I'll get one myself. Little girl, if you go down there, I'm not getting you. That's what I tell her. I said, you face the consequences. Go ahead. But this is your father's fault. He made you spoiled. Now you don't know, no. Little girl. I love, I love the fact that he just been calling her little girl the whole time. Like, <laughs> he refuses to call her by her name. Actually, you know what this is reminding me of? That one Jordan Peele movie. Dang it, I can't think what it's called. Is it Get Out? No, Us? No, whatever the other movie that he got that's not Get Out or Us. Maybe it's Nope. I think that's what it's called. That's what that reminded me of. Not that one. Daddy! I love how he's just taking his sweet time. He does not care at all. Like, he doesn't stress when these kids do what they're not supposed to be doing. Now I think about it, this is Willy Wonka's house of torment at the end of the day. <laughs> no way they're coming out like this is, I don't need, like a tampon commercial? Like why are they, act it's a lovely day. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> they got me feeling like I'm high right now. <laughs> Look at the way they're spinning. Like this is just, a, it's really a lovely day for them right now. Ew, that is gross. You know, one thing that I do like though is that they're like touching all genres of music with every kid that does something they're not supposed to do. They have a nice little song. Oh, not a horrid smell. Uh. Oh, oh, Horrid. Hey, 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 hey. Ho! <laughs> That's funny. They're really dissing him in this song right now. Dear old mom, I'm loving. <laughs> you know, at some point I would be panicked. I'm not gonna hold you. I wouldn't just be calm, cool, collective like they are. Like they see this kind of stuff every day. Candy is a waste of time. Whoa. Oh, he's hearing his daddy's voice. Oh, dang. Now you're next on the list. Goodness gracious. You done opened this trauma. Those of the world. Go ahead. Nine times out of 10, Willy Wonka killed his daddy. <laughs> They're really making it seem like this kid really just walked the earth with his freaking brace. Who's gonna take his braces thing off of him? 
oh, he didn't really walk the world like I thought. Okay. Of course he would pick the one with the TV because that's what he sits in front of all day, every day, playing his game. Here, put these on. They look like they on set for a Missy Ellis music video. Um, super duper duper fly. Fly. Super duper high. Ruth Television, all ready to be eaten. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not going No way, not the throwback of the Oprah. <laughs> Sounds impossible. Hey, do y'all know what the Macarena song is about? Just quick question. I know that some of y'all have heard it, some of y'all probably have not. But for those that have heard it, you know what it's about? Just reach out and grab it. Shooting out with them angry gorillas over there fighting over it. This is like the start of um, Barbie, though. Go on. It'll be delicious. It's the same bar. How is he not sick of eating chocolate by now? Like he literally just took a drink from the fountain earlier. I wouldn't want to eat no more chocolate. I'd be chocolate out. You need simply reach out and take it. Honestly, we're not too far from that being a real life thing. For real. Cereal. Do you have any idea what breakfast cereal is made of? Sugar, the same thing as chocolate. He's a teleporter. It's the most important invention in the history of the world. I think they're trying to let y'all know that uh, teleporting it's possible. Conspiracy Bill has entered the chat. But I'm not. See, he already knew that this kid was gonna do that. That's why he showed it to him. Dang, he pushed the Oompa Loompas out the way? You gonna need them later, bro. Push my button. Literally, don't push my button. Man, if you don't go up there and grab your badass son. <laughs> this fool dancing? <laughs> he really, this is a game for him. He does not take this serious. If you had to choose only one half of your son, which one? This man is hilarious for that. No way you asked him. <laughs> which half of your son would you like to keep? <laughs> oh, they did this to try to teach a lesson to the parents. Don't just leave your kids in front of the TV because they could be consuming, watching, or being a part of anything. I see the message. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Ew, not the tongue. Well, I didn't even see all that, though. Daddy up the Yo, that's kind of true, though. Too much TV time, too much screen time is not good. Unless you're watching my channel. Then it's great. I love how they're paying homage through, like, all different uh, music videos and stuff. Oh, and they're doing thriller movies, too? That's funny. That is great. Ew, somebody grab him. <laughs> I like what this fool says, ew. There is no other way. It's television, not telephone. It's quite a difference. That boy got jokes. Wow. What do you propose to do about it? I don't know. He said, that's not my son, that's your son. So that means it's your problem. You smashed into a million pieces. <laughs> no way, my boy is just laughing. It's not funny. I would have been uppercutting the hell out of Willy Wonka, dude. Augustus, please don't eat your fingers. But I taste so good. You would think that that man had enough chocolate too. It's crazy. He has an addiction. They done turned this girl into thing one and thing two. Look, mother, I'm much more flexible. Yeah, no, if my daughter was doing all that, she could not go home with me. I'm telling you, because she's, that's a demon at that point. That's not a kid. Yeah, see, now y'all match y'all attitudes. Stanky. Wait, did he have to leave without his son? No way. Oh, dang, his son really did get stretched out. Oh, yeah, see, no, there's a couple kids I would've got left with Willy Wonka. I'm not gonna hold you. Where do you live? The only house that's sitting sideways like Paul Wall. That little house. First of all, the only house that's over there in general, are y'all the only poor people in the, the whole neighborhood? <laughs> Wait a minute, did you really just go in and destroy that house? Yeah, you better be dropping a pretty big check to wake my grandma and my grandpa up that's sleeping in the same bed with three other people. Mm-hmm. You must be the boy's parents. <laughs> Look, he still can't say it because he's jealous <laughs> and he was abused. They showed his daddy, but what happened to his mama? Baloompas. Who would watch over them after I was gone? Bro got one piece of gray hair and was like, I'm gonna be dying, so I have to get ready to get rid of this. Are you ready to leave all this behind and come live with me at the factory? Sure. Wait, live with you? What do you mean? You ain't dead yet. What about my family? Oh my dear boy, of course they can't. Oh, he said that with his whole chest. That man said, of course they can't. 
I wouldn't give up my family for anything. Shoot, I tell you what, Charlie, me and you are different, different, because your family gave up on themselves years ago, so I wouldn't feel no kind of way. I'd be like, yeah, they gave up on themselves a while ago. Let's go. Tell the Oompa Loompas, pack my bags. Well, that's just unexpected, and... Yeah, see, Willy Wonka thought that every kid was gonna, a kid was gonna be willing to leave their family just like how he left his. Everyone don't have your story, bro. Sure you won't change your mind? Dang, it looked like he want to. Man, like, that decision really hurt him. Grandma Georgina knew exactly what she was talking about. <laughs> Does she still know that she's poor? Does she know that? I don't think she would be talking if she knew that. Joe spent the whole day out of bed. He didn't feel tired at all. Now he don't feel tired no more. Oh my goodness. Wow. The job at the toothpaste factory. Repairing the machine that... And how much toothpaste is people buying? Because I've seen all y'all teeth. Ain't nobody brushing. I know that. Rotten egg who deserves it. Yeah. Oh, really? I can't believe he can't recognize that voice. I would know immediately that's Wonka. He also has a funny haircut. <laughs> you do got a funny haircut. You feel terrible. My family. Yeah. That man said, ill. Wow, he is unloved. You know, they're always telling you what to do, what not. It's crazy because he's been living in a chocolate factory with technically his family. So he's always had a family, just the one that he was born into or whatever. They didn't like him. At least not by myself. You want me to go with you? Dang, you need a little boy to go with you to talk to your daddy? You might need to think of something else. And you know what? I got transportation. Oh my gosh. Dang, can you pay attention? Can you see with them shades on? Is your daddy evil or something? Why is that the only building that's there? I think we've got the wrong house. Can't deny it now. And that plaque is fresh. Does he go out there every day and clean it? His daddy has not aged a bit. Like, still looks the exact same. Appointment? No. But he's overdue. It's crazy how he wouldn't recognize, like he don't recognize his son, I would immediately know, like, son, hello? Oh, he kept track of his son's stuff though. Interesting. So is that why this man bleached his face and started wearing them big old bug-eyed sunglasses? So he wouldn't be recognized by his daddy or something? Willie. Hi, dad. So he owns a chocolate factory, but he himself has been taking care of his teeth. What an interesting conundrum. Hmm. You would think someone who owns a bunch of chocolate would eat a bunch of chocolate also, but I guess, I don't know. I guess not. Not once. That man has never ate chocolate? Then how do you know that is good? You just trust everybody else around you saying that? Ooh, affection is not their strong suit, boy. They struggle trying to give each other a hug. Wow, that was awkward. He's like, Daddy? Uh, Daddy? Don't leave me, Daddy? Yes, please. I'll shuffle the plates. Oh, they got money to let Willie stay for dinner? Oh, they, he don't really came up at the toothpaste... Toothpaste? Toothpaste factory. <laughs> I, I cannot talk, yo. I love peanuts. Hey, hey, chill, Grandma, with the nuts. You smell like old people and soap. Old people and soap is a crazy combination. Okay. Uh, -uh you better get off my gam gam. I ain't seen her get excited like that in years. You might have awakened in her. Awakening? You might have awakened her. However you're supposed to say that sentence, I don't know. So was this set during Christmas time? They didn't really say what the season was. Something even better. A family. He got a family. Yeah. One thing was absolutely certain. Well, that was a plot twist I didn't see coming. Life had never been sweeter. I like that. Life has never been sweeter because they're in a chocolate factory. I get it. That's good. That's good. Okay, Tim Burton, I see you, brother. Okay, so that was Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, the 2005 version. I have no idea when the first one came out. That must have been like early 90s, I'm assuming then. Maybe, possibly. But... That was a pretty good uh, remake, if you will. I don't know if Tim Burton produced the last one. Maybe he didn't, maybe he did, I have no idea. And also, I don't really remember the first one like that. So as of today though, I think that these songs were a whole lot better than the first one. 
and I could be biased. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Did y'all like the first one better or do you have you guys like the remake? And I also seen that they're coming out with a very new one. I don't know at the time when this video comes out, it could already be out or it might be about to come out. I don't know. Y'all know I, I don't ever really know when I'm dropping videos, so it's no telling, but it could have came out by the now by now. If it did, cool. If it didn't, then yeah. So are y'all gonna go see that one? Cause after watching this, I think I might go see how they tried to remix it like, you know, almost 20 years later, close to it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this movie, commentary, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what movie you wanna see, do next with the hashtag Bingers, B-I-N-G-E-R-S, and I'll get to it at some point. I really do appreciate y'all love and support. It means a lot. Make sure y'all spam with the chat right now with some hearts before we go, because I need to feel the love. I need to feel all the love and uh, that'll do it. Until my next movie commentary, I will see y'all then. Billy Bingers, out. Oh.